Danny, Corey, one of the Corey sisters, and in the ensemble. Oh, it's it's been fine, and actually, most people who come to the door afterwards, the stage door afterwards, they 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 know enough English so we can communicate, or I know enough Spanish to communicate. So, pequeño, español, poquito, poquito, yes. Sí. The dressing, the changing, the performing is fine, but it's the breathing <laughs> because of the high altitude. So oh, yeah, yeah. periodically you'll see people grabbing oxygen um, because after we perform, so many people are short of breath. So that's been the, the most difficult adjustment, but not really a problem. It's been okay. Um, from all over. We have people from New York, um, from all over the United States, um, from Canada. Um, yeah, so we have a variety of, of people. Um, we've presented it in Canada, in Toronto, and all throughout the United States. We've traveled to over 20 different states within the United States. We close, close in Mexico on uh, February 5th, so this, this Sunday, so oh, come yeah. see the show. <laughs>great they're like we look at them as like our little brothers and sisters oh. you know running around and they're fun and sweet and yeah they're like family you know they're kids we have to have fun with them um, but also make sure that they still work, work and nice. they still remain children because they're kids and little. so at yeah. night no drinking yes thank you Um, how we're set up is each actor, like Kiara, has a number. Kiara's number is 23. Okay. We have these stations here. Each actor has a station, and all of their clothes are hung here. So the way it's arranged is they can come to their station to get their clothes. Now, we pick up 14 people in each city. So here in Mexico City, we've picked up 14 people that help them. So these people will take the clothes out of this closet and lay them on the chair so that when Kiara comes running in, she can change her clothes much more quickly. Um, it, it varies. Sometimes they have as much as 11 minutes. Sometimes they have as little as 30 seconds. So <clears throat> certain times in the show, things happen very quickly. So what we will do is we will take the clothes from here and we will actually take them out to the side of the stage and we will meet the actors there and change them very quickly and they run right back on stage. It, it, it's funny, everyone on stage is so busy. Everyone backstage is very busy and has something that they have to pay attention to. You don't have time to pay attention to the fact that someone is undressing over here. So. It, it kind of just goes unnoticed. So it's natural. Thing yeah, it's natural. It's, it's part of the show. It's part of the business. It's, um, most people are not as self-conscious about it. And we also provide them with underwear that covers them. So they're not <laughs> naked. Um, they are mostly covered. Each person has about five different looks. Each look would be their, their blouse, their skirt, their coat, their hat, gloves, and shoes. Okay. So I've been doing an inventory on the entire show, and I am up to 3,000 pieces. Oh, damn. <laughs> so it's a lot to keep track of for every single show. And we don't really think of it, and for the last three years, I have refused to do a count because there are so many pieces, I didn't want to know <laughs> the number. But now that we're at the end and I had to count, knowing the number, it's like, wow, for three years we have managed 3,000 costume pieces for every show. It's really big. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's much larger than we're used to playing. Yeah. For um, sure, yeah. So we, we feel a little small, even though we're a very big show, we feel a little small in this building. Um, no, no. Oh. It doesn't really change the show for us that much. It just makes us, makes everyone feel small out there on stage because there are so many people. It seems like everyone really, really likes the show. Yeah. But it's a beautiful show. Visually, it's a beautiful show. Isn't it is classy? a classic. It's Mary Poppins. You can't, um, you can't go wrong. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I prefer that. <laughs> yes. Ev everyone that is familiar with Mary Poppins will enjoy the show. For the most part, I don't think so. I think everyone understands the story. Um, I, occasionally it seems that some of the American jokes get lost in translation mm. um, because those, those things aren't funny here in Mexico. But I understand when they do the translation, they, they will compensate for that. They will, they will translate it in a way that makes it funny, funnier for the Mexican audience. Right. There's, yeah. there's some things that just don't translate like. the same. Um, I think there's one, <clears throat> um, Mrs. Brill the Maid talks about hello. It's, it's a joke in the way that she pronounces it and says it. And that's funny to um, Britain and America, but the translation here I think is family relic. Right. And it's not, it doesn't have the same humor. Right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, later when they translate it, they will find something about being old a way of saying being old that makes it funny for Mrs. Brill, the old maid, to say. Well, this is part of Mrs. Corey. This is when we do the scene supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, this is Mrs. Corey. Now, this dress is three years old, so it looks a little tired. Um, <laughs> But um, one of the things about our show is not, nothing is bought from a store. Everything is made specifically for this show and specifically for the actors. These get torn repeatedly almost every show. So we are constantly fixing them, repairing them, or remaking them. Constantly. Oh, okay. So yeah, we, we stay very busy. Um, some of these, like this, this sweater, this is actually custom knitted for us, but it's knitted as fabric. It's not knitted as a sweater, it's knitted as flat fabric, and then it's cut out and sewn together so that we can alter it to fit different people. All right. But you would never know that just from looking at it. <laughs> yeah, it's like one piece or all. <laughs> yes. And some of it... All of this is hand crocheted. The entire costume was hand crocheted by one person. So it's a lot of work in every single one of these costumes. And this dress it's for? Um, this is actually for um, a toy scene with the children. Okay, well we have a, a part where they go to the park and the statues come to life. Okay. And, and um, I'm gonna show you one of the statues here. They are all custom made for each individual young lady. They are all custom painted and they have the built-in musculature and shape to give them the shape of the statue. All right. <clears throat> they have matching shoes and a matching headpiece but when you see them on stage with all their makeup paint and everything it looks like they, their body is actually painted. Oh. It's quite amazing what the light on stage and what the painting on the costume does. Then she has about six minutes from the top of the show to get into this. So it takes a lot of abuse getting into it quickly and then getting out of it quickly. And the makeup on, the makeup off, yes. It's a hard, hard work. It is a lot of work. This show is a lot of work. It, um, we have... 
20, 34 people on stage in every performance. But we have 38 people in the company. So we have four extra people. Should anybody get injured or anybody be sick, ill, um, we have four people who can step in for them. Okay. So at a moment's notice, me and my staff have to be prepared to pull all of their clothes out and put someone else in, in the middle of the show without missing. I, I do enjoy it. it. <laughs> after, th after three years, I'm, I'm a little tired. I'm ready to go home. Um, but I have enjoyed the show because it is so beautiful to work on. The clothes are absolutely lovely.